hey guys welcome back to my channel so as promised i am back with part two of my perfume haul slash what to get your bae for valentine's day series so we are here for the ladies right now and we're gonna get into the perfumes that i think will make excellent gifts she's going to love she is going to get swallowed up as well and you know we're just we're just building happy relationships over here so we're just gonna get into the perfumes and thank you guys so much for joining me make sure you like comment and subscribe and we're gonna get into this fragrance okay so first on the list is ysl libre intense my baby and i love her so much i'm gonna keep buying her and i'm gonna keep buying her i'm gonna keep buying her Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, YSL, this is just absolutely like a staple. I have to have it. She is me, I am her kind of fragrance. Like, I can't, I, I tried the others, but none of them spoke to me like this. And that's why I just keep re-upping on this one. The vanilla, the lavender, the white floral, it is sweet. <laughs> oh my God. It's floral, it's a little fresh spicy to it like it's just such a beautiful fragrance like all year round this is me this is one of this is my staple scent so next on the list is going to be affection by latafa and that is what the bottle looks like and it's a pretty big bottle and that's what kind of what i like about arabian perfumes it's like a fraction of the price they last just as long if not longer than the name brands and you get so much more bang for your buck in, like inside in terms of like liquid you get so much more bang how could you not love this but they got it they really oh my god it's so good it's pistachio you get that hazelnut that jasmine raspberry the tonka beans a little vanilla oh my god it's so good like they got it right and it lasts just it lasts it projects it lasts it's such a good buy this one is such a pretty pistachio perfume like absolutely one of the ones Latafa got smack down great pick this up get it next on the list is going to be Miss Prada Paradox and this is a fan favorite. A lot of girls love this because of how fresh and just fruity, citrusy, sweet it is. It's just, it's powdery. It's, it's just a fresh, girly, really, really girly scent. And you can't go wrong with this. This is gonna give you a lot of compliments and you just really can't go wrong with this. I have no other words, but just try it for yourself have this in your collection it mixes well with other perfumes and it's just it, it's a great standalone it's a pretty bottle <laughs> and it's just a great buy Prada Paradox and the Intense as well so if you can't get your hands on this one get your hands on the Intense amazing you're gonna enjoy it so the next one on our list is a Jade Dubai Portrait by Latafa. And this one, I have to say, is very interesting. This one, immediately I get mango. I get a top note of mango, but it says a top note of fruity and citrus. But to me, that means mango because that's what I get. And then I get a sweet, it's floral, but it, it is also woodsy. And it has an amber citrus like it's just at the dry down it smells like a creamy mango it's really tropical you don't need a lot a couple sprays does the trick it is just a beautiful bottle it's just a summery scent to me it's a very summer scent but you don't need a lot but it's gonna go a long way this is a good pickup and like I said before, I love me a seasonal fragrance because I just I just love that. Because 
you don't want to smell the same every season every season you want to rotate you want to have scents that reflects the season you want to have scents that reflects the mood like right now is not the time for this i'm just gonna let that sit and i'm gonna let it marinate until the summertime and then sometime we ask hi next up on the list we have a favorite of mine miss valentino born in roma and i'm missing the cap i i cannot even go back in the memory bones of my mind and remember what happened to this cap but it's being used okay this is just such a amber powdery spicy warm spicy vanilla fragrance it's just such a beautiful scent this gets me so many compliments every time i wear it it's a perfect standalone it's a perfect layering so if all year round 365 she is that girl definitely a scent to repurchase like it's such a sexy feminine get this if you're unsure about this, get this. If you're unsure about the whole other Born in Rome, like the whole collection, get the Intense. You're not gonna be disappointed. This one is the last on the list and it's by Kazamat Ebhar. And this is just, it is quickly replaced my Casablanca perfume as being like one of my top Arabian scents. I am obsessed. I just got this and it's already replacing Casablanca. I'm sorry. They they share, most of the notes are similar. They smell just alike. They just have a couple differences. Casablanca, at the beginning, it gives you an alcohol on your skin. This just goes beast mode immediately. And then, on the just to dry down and just settling into your skin, you get the vanilla. It's a little bit more fruity. It's a little bit more powdery in this than the Casablanca. And I'm just like, I didn't think I could like Casablanca anymore than I do until this was delivered to my front door. So now I think Casablanca is gonna be more of like an everyday scent and we're gonna reserve this for like when we're stepping outside because this is just more like Casablanca is so beautiful and this is just a little bit softer to me. This just tones Casablanca a little bit down. Not saying like Casablanca needed to be toned down because she's good on her own. That's what I'm saying. They're both great fragrance. If you can get your hands on either one of these or both, mix them, whatever, do it. They're both affordable. They're both in like under $50 and they're amazing. So guys, we have reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you guys get to try some of these fragrances. Let me know your favorites. Let me know what you have tried, what you have not. I mean, we're building our collection. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.